So I'm down underneath the railway bridges of Vauxhall to meet David Hay in his private gym. Three years ago I came here to, to meet up with him and train before he fought the beast from the east. Mr. Valuev there, but today we've come back to fight the Christmas flab. He's got a boxing DVD out. I brought some moral support this time from Sun Fitness trainer Zach Taylor, and we're now going to take on David Hay in the Sun's Fitness Challenge. The winner of the round gets to be the winner. The loser of the round obviously loses, but has to pay a penalty, which is two, I repeat, two punches in the solar plexus by myself. When you go, the timer starts, so it's in your interest to go as fast as you can. That's nice. That's a, that's a real good patient set for yourself there. Three, two, and time. Stop there, stop there. That's 2.10, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> he does that for a living. You're doing all right. Have a look, have a look at the sweat button. Time. 2.14, ladies and gentlemen. 2.14. It's the anticipation that. <laughs> yeah. There's one. That was a bad one. That was a bad one. <laughs> there you go. You've got to start a lot quicker than that. And time. 184. I think the trouble's about to start in a minute. And time. There you go. 196. It's the second time. Round two. He lost round two, so. Oh, that's why, that's why, that's, that's why I'm in there. It hurts me as much as it hurts him. Round three coming up. It's Boogie. Two, one, and time. One, eight, eight. Does he beat his last score? No. Oh, he's got two punches to no. the plexus. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's it, nearly there, nearly there. Two, one, and time. One, eight, two. He's beat his, he beat his, beat his last time. No punches for Gordon. When a man knows that, if he could just push that extra five, ten percent to avoid those punches in the stomach, they will dig in. Well, I've brought a difficult competitor today. He's getting sacked tomorrow. Two, one, two, oh, five. He beat his last time. Did you see what's happening here? One, eight, nine. He's beat, he's beat his last time. Oh, oh, so two, oh, nine to beat, is that right? Two, and time. Two, oh, six. Oh, he was so close. I like to take more time with this. <laughs> Oh, it's, 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 one, it's all arm, it's all arm. It was a love tap, we call it in the, in, in the game, it's a love tap. I'm only a bantam way. <laughs> right, this is what I want you to do now. So, is that down? Fists, here, here, other arm, down, up, that's it. Down. Yeah. Yeah. More relaxed arms are, the easier it is. That's it. Over time, the more you do it, the more aching, particularly if you haven't done it before, your arms get a bit numb. Who won? Who won? Who won? Who's, claim, who's claiming the victory? There you go. Is it, it's the delayed reaction. It's the, the first off, you kind of did that hurt? Like, oh, yeah, it did. Right, what we're going to do now is a bit of leg conditioning um, in a boxing stance. So we drop down onto that front leg, come back up to where you started, and then drop down onto that back leg. That's nice. At the same pace as each other. Get nice and low. You've done a minute, no one needs to get punched in the stomach. They're putting their heart and soul into it, I have to say. They're giving 100%. Oh, just keep squatting, that's it, good. And again, their body and their brain are both saying stop, but this, this glove on his hand is telling them to keep going. He's showing me something that I didn't know he had. He's dug deep. And time. That's great stuff. Oh, oh my back. Oh. There's no, some there's no arms, no, that's fine. That's 15 you've got to do now. Seven, seven. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. It's all in your head. One, two, three, four. There you go. I know they can see they've trained before, because the the average the average Joe you drag off the street would not be able to take that type of abuse. Getting hit in your stomach without knowing how hard it is. Painful. What we're doing now? We're doing punching flat out. It should look a little something like this. That's how it should look. That's good, that's 100% right there. That's a good pace. Some Joe Calzaghi stuff right there, the speed. That's good. That's good. Keep it going, push that bag up, push that bag up. They're doing amazing, they're really putting it in, really, really putting it in. I'm loving the work you guys are doing now, but don't let yourself down on the final hurdle, come on. That's 10 seconds, let's go, come on, let's go. One, two, I have to say, I was actually taken aback by how much effort and graft 
Zach and Gordon put in today. Um, I wasn't expecting that much, but they dug in. They pushed through pain barriers, they took some, some hefty punches in the solar plexus, and they kept coming. That was brutal. We did about 45 minutes of proper boxing training. And I think it might just be the hardest thing I've ever done. I'll sleep tonight, but I just worry what's going to happen to my rib cage and my back when I wake up in the morning. Time for a pint. Absolutely exhausted. I mean, I work out most days, you know, but that was just something else. The intensity, the speed, the endurance, but what a session. Absolutely fantastic. What they put in today, I have to say, was um, way above and beyond the call of what most people need to do in training. But as you can see, Gordon will be feeling this for the next two or three days. He may, he may be um, in pain, rolling around, not being able to find a comfortable place to sleep, but he's a warrior. He's a warrior, no doubt.